May I speak in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Can someone please give God a megaphone? I'm quite sure that our readings today represent a sample of the monologue that was running through the background of my mind at various times throughout day one of the dreaded GOEs. Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You discern my thoughts from afar. Here I am, for you called me. Speak, for your servant is listening. And then the parts that I ad-libbed. I'm listening, but I can't hear you. <laughs> Can someone please find that megaphone? As you might imagine, I was just a wee bit stressed by the end of day one. And so I decided to release some of that pent up stress by pounding a few miles out on the treadmill. So here I am running, and when I run, I listen to the iTunes station on my phone. Usually the pop radio station because it keeps my energy level up and helps me keep a respectable pace. So I'm running and thinking and decompressing and the line of a chorus of a song jumps out at me. Take me to church. And I thought, oh yes, what a great idea. How cool is it that this song is playing right now? I tried to listen a little more closely and it only took me a few minutes to realize that that song wasn't exactly what I would call church friendly. Actually, it seems that I stumbled across a quite controversial song, and I find myself wondering about the person who wrote it. I quickly made a mental note to look up the song later and moved on to the next. But my thoughts remained with the song. I began to think about how those catchy tunes impact people who don't know God. How do songs like that impact the church? Maybe God really does need a megaphone to be heard over the noise of the world. But this obviously isn't a new phenomenon. Even in our reading today, God had to call out three times before even Eli realized that it was the Lord that was calling Samuel. So it seems that we humans have had this hearing deficit for a little while. In, even in my own process to be ordained, there were many times in my life when I was unsure about the voice of the Lord. There were other times when I was perhaps a little more certain, but again, the noise of the world got in my way. Honestly, God had to tug on my heartstrings many times before I heard the message clearly and responded. I think that many things get in our way and block our ability to listen our willfulness, our fear, insecurities, anxieties, anger, resentment, fatigue, maybe even simple disbelief can cause our hearts to be hardened, not just to God, but to each other. Confusion can set in, and sometimes it can take some real effort on our part to quiet our minds and open the ears of our hearts. But today the psalmist and Samuel remind us gently, Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You discern my thoughts from afar. Here I am, for you called me. Speak, for your servant is listening. And I am ever so grateful to have that relationship with God because I know that no matter where I go, even if I stray or get it wrong, God will find a way to make something good out of it. I think that's true even regarding my initial response to the song that I mentioned earlier. After I got beyond my GOEs, I did a little research. I looked up the lyrics, I watched the music video, I listened to the interview with the artist about the song. It turns out that my original perception was a little incorrect. The artist actually uses this song to cry out about violence against humanity and how humanity has used the doctrines of the church to justify that violence. While I'm not endorsing or condemning the song, I just feel the need to acknowledge that the intensity of the song is real. 
The problems tackled in the song are real. Our world today is a difficult place, difficult in ways that might just call for the use of a very large megaphone or maybe even a small microphone. And I have the utmost faith that God will continue to seek us out, to know us, to open our hearts in ways that will enable us to listen, to forgive, and to love. So Lord, take me to your church, the church that practice, listen, practices listening, forgiveness, and love. Amen.